If you want the complete guide to the best mattress to help back pain, then keep watching. One of the most common causes of back pain is sleeping on an uncomfortable mattress. A mattress could be too soft, too firm, too old. Whatever the cause, if you're getting back pain during the night, your mattress may not be providing enough support for your back. And it's not just back pain either. Neck pain too can be made worse by the wrong mattress. A bad mattress can also lead to headaches and fatigue because you're not sleeping properly. Your mattress has a job to do. It should support your spine's natural curve and keep your spine aligned, but allow your muscles to relax while you sleep. If the average person spends about 26 years of their life sleeping, then you should definitely have a good mattress to do it on. Why is sleep so important? Well, during childhood, sleep supports growth and development, but sleep continues to be important throughout our lives to support both physical and mental health. Here are a few reasons why sleep is important. When we sleep, our bodies release hormones. One example of this is growth hormone, which helps your body grow, of course, and repair itself. This includes repairing your muscles, organs, and cells, and also helping you cope if you have a bout of back pain. Sleep lowers your pulse and blood pressure, allows your heart and blood vessels to rest and recover. Scientists think REM, or rapid eye movement sleep, helps your brain clear information you don't need. Activity in the sympathetic nervous system, which controls your fight or flight responses, decreases. This allows your body to relax. Sleep is essential for our health and well-being, and yet it's estimated that 40% of the population suffer with sleep issues. So what's so important about finding the right mattress? A mattress should keep your spine aligned, as I've said, but allow your muscles to relax while you sleep. Pain, particularly back and neck pain, can be made worse by the wrong mattress. It can also lead to headaches or fatigue. What to consider when buying a mattress? Well, there are several things. Uh, first of all, mattresses often have several layers, but the support system and comfort layer can help you choosing the right sort of mattress for you. The support system is the spring or foam layer that supports your weight and provides the spinal alignment that's so important. This is rated by firmness and choosing the right firm firmness depends on your body type and weight, of course. It's not the case that the firmer the mattress, the best solution for back pain either. There are problems with mattresses that are too firm or too soft, as the mattress really should support your spine's natural curves. The comfort layer is above the support layer and is unique to your preferences. Latex and memory foam are two examples of a comfort layer, and these are beneficial to preventing aches and pains. But what about replacing your mattress? Even if you have a seemingly good mattress, the National Bed Federation, the UK Bed Manufacturers Association, recommends that you replace your mattress every seven to 10 years. Well, they would, wouldn't they? Over time, mattresses lose the ability to support you, leading to aches and pains and poor sleep. There are a few more signs that it's time to treat yourself to a new mattress too. Firstly, noisy springs. This indicates that the springs have worn down, which means they won't be providing the necessary support. Signs of wear and tear to the external parts of the mattress, for example, the mattress is saggy, lumpy, or you can feel the springs through the mattress torn or, or dirty uh, coverings are also a good indication that it's time for a new mattress. Allergies or asthma symptoms have also been associated with mattresses because they collect lots of dust and allergens and over time this can make your symptoms worse. Another uh, sign that your bed may need replacing is when other beds, beds feel more comfortable. If you regularly find it hard to fall asleep in your own bed, but find almost every other bed comfortable, this might indicate that your mattress is to blame. The best advice is that if you have started to notice your mattress, then it's probably time to get a new one. There are six primary different types of mattress that you can choose from. 
Most mattresses are made of some sort of combination of the following materials. Firstly, pocket spring mattresses. Um, these are some of the most popular type of mattress because it's durable, provides good support, and it's cost effective. It's relatively easy to produce. The foundation is made up of many coils that work together to evenly distribute weight and reduce pressure on the body. The number of pockets is a rough guide to the quality of the mattress. The more pockets, the better the quality and the higher the price. Aim for about a thousand springs, up to 2000 springs in a king size bed. A smaller bed will have correspondingly fewer springs, of course. The heavier you are, the more springs you should aim for. Whilst a medium spring weight is right for most people, heavy people may need a firm mattress. For everyone else, firm or orthopaedic mattresses will quite simply be too hard and will make back pain worse because it won't support your spine properly. Avoid open coil or cage spring mattresses because they're of inferior quality and although they're cheaper, they'll become less supportive of your back more quickly and this will contribute to back pain more often. Also, they'll need replacing more frequently. The quality of the upholstery often called ticking, is important too. Thick layers of often organic natural fibres like wool, horsetail and flax yarn, hand sewn under a cotton cover, can feel fantastic to sleep on and keep you warm in winter, but also cool in the summer. Often a mixture of natural and synthetic upholstery is used to keep the price reasonable. Most people won't notice the difference between a really top-end mattress and uh, there's no difference to your back uh, either with a relatively modestly priced one. Another sort of mattress is a memory foam mattress. They're quite popular. This material is less common because it's more expensive than a pocket spring mattress and some people complain that it's too hot, especially in the summer, but that's not been our experience. Memory foam mattresses consist of a top layer of actual memory foam and often a layer of ordinary foam underneath. The top layer can be made of two layers of memory foam, a top layer of, of less dense um, um, foam that moulds more quickly to the shape of your body, and then a lower denser layer for more support. One of the problems is that uh, Ordinary foam deteriorates over time, so the base layer of a memory foam mattress made of ordinary foam um, will usually wear out, um, but probably no more quickly than a, an ordinary pocket sprung mattress. The better the quality mattress, um, it's more likely to have a denser foam frame around the edges to prevent you rolling towards the edge as you get near to the edge. Harley memory foam mattresses uh, are good in this regard and are well worth looking at if that's the sort of mattress that you want. Another sort of mattress is made of latex. It's a natural material and it can be very comfortable and long lasting. You can also get synthetic latex which is cheaper but essentially very similar. One of the many benefits of latex uh, as used in mattress construction is their ability to alleviate pressure points and provide back alignment. This makes latex a perfect choice for those who suffer from chronic pain, arthritis, or other health conditions. Other benefits of a latex, latex mattress is that it's made up of lots of air pockets, so it's breathable. Latex mattresses are usually made up of natural rubber, which is an allergen-free material. You can even get organic latex. Latex mattresses are commonly recommended to people with asthma because of their the low allergen uh, content and the low level of dust and mites and other allergens that accumulate in the mattress. So it's good for, for that sort of thing. Another sort of mattress is a sort of hybrid, a mix of the other thing, other uh, sorts of mattress. So a combination of a pocket sprung base topped with memory foam, for instance. These are popular, but I think they may be a triumph of marketing over reason. I can't really see the, the real benefits of them. But if you're tempted, try one out and see if you like the feel. Futon mattresses uh, are really um, only good for sofas and then only sitting on for a short period of time. As beds, they're too hard for almost everyone and the cotton wadding compresses over time. Uh, so they get harder and harder. Avoid them. Finally, water beds. As long as you don't get seasick, water beds can be very comfortable. 
Modern water beds have several pockets of water which reduces the bobbing up and down you get, but not completely. The water needs to be heated, otherwise the, the cold water in, in the, the bag that you're lying on can chill you down in a very unpleasant way. But get it right and it can regulate your temperature very well. So it warms you up in winter and keeps you cool in the summer. These beds can weigh a lot too, so you may need your floor reinforcing, so that's worth checking. How much do you need to spend on a good quality mattress? That's a really big question we get asked a lot. Well, one of the most important things to consider when buying a mattress is the quality, of course. A good quality mattress will not only help you sleep better, but it will also improve your general health, reduce back pain and allow you to wake up feeling refreshed. Cheap mattresses just don't last as long and although they may be comfortable initially, they'll soon need replacing. Top end mattresses can cost thousands of pounds because they're handmade using expensive materials but they won't necessarily be more comfortable or prevent back pain any better than a mid-range mattress. So mid-range mattresses are the ones to go for. Bed retailers always seem to be having sales, so don't be fooled by an apparently good deal. Just because the initial price was hiked to make the discount look huge doesn't mean you're getting a bargain. Instead, use these tips to choose the best mattress for you. Some of the quirks of um, the best mattresses may not be that obvious at first glance. There are many things that can cause back pain, but the mattress you sleep on is the most important factor. Whether you have a bad back or not, it's important to find a mattress that will support your body and keep your spine straight and give you a good night's sleep. Here are some of the quirks of best mattresses and uh, these are the things to look out for. So a mattress with good support will prevent your spine from curving or arching when you're asleep. Um, and that's why the right firmness level is key uh, in this regard. Too soft and your spine sinks in. Too hard and your spine curves unnaturally. A mattress that's easy to turn or doesn't need turning is really important too. If you've got a bad back, the last thing you want to be doing is lifting a heavy mattress every few months to turn it round. Some mattresses don't need turning over, but might need rotating to vary the pressure points and prolong the mattress's life. If your partner is a different weight to you, you may need a different density or spring tension in the other side of the mattress. So these mattresses are zoned um, to different uh, spring tensions or firmness, and they can often be two mattresses joined in the middle with a zip. Some mattresses work best with a certain type of base. Some pocket sprung mattresses, for instance, are designed to work with a sprung divan base to provide the optimum, resport, well, optim, op, optimum support, and you've got to have both replaced at the same time. The bed base provides a solid foundation for the mattress and is essential for preventing back pain. If the mattress is old and saggy, then the base may need replacing too. If you feel the undulations through the mattress or roll to the center of the bed, then your base may be to blame. A slatted base with either a springy or solid slat can provide a good base for the perfect mattress. And that can be more durable as they don't need replacing when you get, do get a new mattress. Choosing the right mattress is a crucial decision. It will determine how well you sleep and how well you recover from your daily routine. It's not always easy to find the right one, however, and there are so many options available, it can be confusing. And they all promise to be perfect for your needs, so it can be hard to know where to start. But we've done all the research for you, so you don't have to, and we've narrowed down the selection of mattresses that will help your back pain immensely. So the Sundial recommendation for a mattress for helping back pain is the John Lewis Classic Sustainable Wool 1000 Pocket Spring Mattress in medium tension, medium firmness. It's a mid-priced, medium firm pocket sprung mattress, good for most people of average weight uh, who get back pain and also for people that don't and don't want it. It's got hand tufted fillings, including British wool. It's naturally fire retardant as well, so you don't get uh, um, horrible chemicals swilling around and it's free from traditional chemical flame retardant treatments. 
Uh, it has a, a strong stitched border as well, which is important. And the thousand springs and the king size model uh, means that it's got plenty of spring support. Also, there's no need to turn this mattress. Uh, so that's another win for bad backs. And crucially, John Lewis offer a 60 day exchange policy, which is really marvelous. So choosing the best mattress for your bad back is not an easy task. You have to consider a lot of factors before you decide on which one to buy. The most important factors you should consider when purchasing a mattress for bad backs are your weight, the type of mattress you want, pocket spring, memory foam, latex, possibly hybrid, the durability and warranty offered, and also uh, the company that makes the mattress. Also, what kind of support your back needs, soft, medium or firm. Medium's right for most people. Also, if you're sensitive to heat or cold, then that will influence your decision, but also crucially, your budget. Choose wisely and your mattress will give you a comfortable and refreshing night's sleep in years to come.